Maytech Evidence gives you an easier and safer way to collect evidence from your service users. Here's a quick look at how it works. Many services provided by local authorities require applicants to prove information about themselves. One of the most popular ways of doing this is to ask applicants for copies of documents. As these documents are often sensitive in nature, there are rules and regulations local authorities must abide by when asking for this. A popular way of asking for this evidence is through the use of long and complicated email threads. Not only are these very difficult to understand at a glance, they're also very time consuming and encourage the storage of data outside the bounds of regulatory compliance. I'm gonna show you how we can use Maytech evidence to not only ask the applicant for the evidence that we need, but also help them resolve any problems with what they've sent us, so we can provide the service that they've requested. As the officer, I'm going to start by creating a brand new request. We found that officers often ask for the same list of documents for each application. To make this simple, we can just choose a template from this list. Maytech will work with you to make sure that we're asking for the correct documentation for your unique workflow. The template not only pre-populates the reason for the request, but also adds additional information and advice to help your applicants understand exactly what's needed from the evidence that they're about to upload. The only additional step is to add the applicant's name and the email address where we will send the request. I also have an opportunity here to provide an external reference number. Perhaps there's a unique identifier for this individual on our CRM system. When I'm done, the applicant will receive an email asking them to complete the checks. Now we're looking from the applicant's point of view. As an applicant, I receive an email asking me to complete some checks for the service that I've applied for. When I open the link, everything looks familiar. This is built around the gov.uk design system. Not only does this make things look familiar, but it also means that it's very clear and concise when I'm being asked to enter information. I now see a clear list of all the checks that I must go through in order to complete the request. In this example, I've been asked to go through an automated identity check. We use a partner that's trusted by central UK government. It asks for a scan of government issued ID and a selfie to make sure that the applicant is who they say that they are. For other evidence checks, I can upload any file or take a picture straight from my device if I'm using a mobile. The great thing here is how flexible this is. I can upload documents in any order I like. Maytech Evidence automatically scans each file for viruses as soon as it's uploaded, then stores it in a secure location until it's been reviewed by officers. When all the files have been uploaded, I can send the request back to the officer for review. Now as the officer, I receive an email letting me know that the applicant has completed the checks that I've requested. Opening the request up, I can firstly see that the automated identity check is now complete, and I can see the information that's been gathered from the official identity document. For evidence checks, I can review each file that's been uploaded. I can review the file and see whether it matches my criteria. If something's not quite right, I can ask the applicant to submit more documents. In this instance, for example, I might ask the applicant to submit a document that's dated within the last three months. By using these focused instructions, we can eliminate the need for long email threads that are complicated to understand from both the officer and the applicant's point of view. Let's imagine the other checks in this request are complete, and I can now send the responses back to the applicant. The applicant will receive an email asking them to upload a new piece of evidence to complete the check that was marked as incomplete. This process can be repeated until all of the evidence matches the required standards. We've reached a point now where all of the evidence meets the required standard and is present and correct. As an officer, I'm confident now I can provide the local authority service or move the application to the next step of the process. This has all been achieved without lengthy conversations with the applicant. I can also be assured that the information that we've collected during this process has been stored in a way that's in line with data protection regulations.